Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. I welcome to my uh, YouTube videos. It's the home of the five minute or less video. I can tell you everything you need within uh, five minutes. Um, I don't need a fancy suit, all the books in the background. I've been doing this for 50 years and you will find my suit in the bookcase and my knowledge really between my ears. I've been doing this since 1973. I am a national expert in IRS tax resolution matters. You've probably seen me on TV. I'm on TV quite a bit. You can see my videos from Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, all on my, uh, my, uh, my, um, my, my, where the hell are you going to find this? You're going to find it on my website at 777irs.com. I think I did a few too many of, of videos, in fact, uh, today. Um, I have a whole team of former IRS agents. You can find me in the description section below. You know, one of the things that I am called on frequently is that um, people are, bill are being bullied by former IRS agents. I, I know I was a bully at one time, and, um, you know, the, the longer you're there, the less you bully. Usually, if you're a new agent, you're having a bad day. Some people are just kind of bitches, really, to start with. I want to be honest with you. It's like you think, what, what how? Who's your parents that raised you? You know, these some of these agents. Where did you really come from, you know? So um, if you're being bullied by a, a former a, a revenue officer or a revenue agent or auditor or anybody at IRS, you don't have to take it. I just want you to know that. There's a couple things you can do. First of all, if it's bad, you should call us former IRS agents. Um, if, 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 if you don't want to do that, you want to do this on your own. First of all, it's better to have someone else be your bully so IRS doesn't take advantage of you. But just let me tell you some of the things you can do. You can file a form 911. It goes ahead and puts the agent and the manager on notice that you want someone else to look at the case that you're being unfairly taken advantage of. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, there's a form 911. It's called the 911. The case will go to the taxpayer's advocate office. The second thing that you can do is you can have a, a meeting with the supervisor and you can explain what's, what's going on. Um, some of these people, no matter what you do, no matter what you tell them, they're just not going to get along with you and you got to move the case away from that person. The manager is not going to take that case from them because you said so. You have to be able to show that manager proof. Um, you can tell them at the 911 meeting with taxpayers advocate. You should keep documentation and records as to what's going on, what the person said, when they set up, when they didn't return calls, and their nastiness. The last thing that I, I, I tell you to do is file a TIGTA report, T-I-G-T-A. Uh, that's one of the government agencies that you can report former or you can report IRS agents to when you feel they're really being abusive. And I'm going to to tell you about two to three percent of any industry they're just like that and there's really no excuse they threaten you with levies and actions and many of the times they can't take them they're just scaring you a lot of times these things happen because there's been inactivity or they're forced by their manager to close the case but no matter what you always have the right to be treated uh, right and 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 with respect and with dignity and when you feel IRS has crossed the line like I said if you have money the best thing you need to do is give somebody the power of attorney and fight back I don't take any crap from anybody I mean my whole team does it we're all former IRS agents we we don't put put up with it we know numbers to call managers to call and we have liaison numbers to call and we do report these people so if you want to do that yourself have at it you have the steps you can file the 911 go to the group manager report them on TIGDA and uh, good luck but don't be bullied um, I would also always also anytime you call send a fax request to that person to let them know you've made the call this is what you're finding you want to speak to a supervisor make sure you fax information and put your concerns on record just don't do that by telephone make sure there's a written record of what you have what you want to do and what's taking place if you need us to represent you you'll find my information below if you find this information was good go ahead give me a subscription and if you have a comment or you want me to talk about something leave me a note 
Uh, I'm happy to do that. Please just don't get bullied. Fight back respectfully to the IRS agent. Thank you.